The reason that I am not having rice on my rice diet is this. So a, a couple weeks ago, I decided to do this experiment where I, where I don't drink a lot of water. I used to drink upwards of four gallons of water, a cut back way back. So I start off my mo morning with a liter of water after I actually, but I have the water exercise, have the, the watermelon juice. What I noticed was the days that I would have rice, I would have yellow pea. And I went during this experiment, during this whole experiment, I have had clear or very light little, a little bit of tan in, in my urine. Uh, since I started this experiment, since I cut way back, I don't even hit a gallon of water most days anymore. It's, it's a, less than a gallon of water that I drink. Now, if I was going for really long walks, if I was going for long bike rides, that would completely change, right? I have done some long bike rides in this period of time that I've been doing this. Those days, I definitely drink closer to a gallon and a half to two gallons of water. It's a completely different story. But the cellar size, are, I, I don't know. I don't feel like I use I need as much water with that. So I've been doing this, and after I eat even pasta, after I eat uh, like pita bread, after I eat potatoes, my urine really didn't change. But after I had rice, it would be like the color of this box over here, this light box over here, like, like, like uh, dark yellow. And I couldn't figure out why. So I cut out rice, and I've had no issues with color in my urine hardly at all other than if I didn't drink enough water when, before I went on to a long bike ride. Right, I've been doing the cellar size, I wanted to try that experiment, because I've got an idea of a, a venture that I want to get into probably sometime this year. So I've been doing this, and I, like I said, I noticed the only days that I had issue with, uh, with uh, uh, pee was on days that I had rice. So I want to kind of re-experiment adding rice back into my rice diet. Now I have been keeping everything else, right? I've been keeping the fruit, the fruit juice, the starch, and I haven't really been using sugar other than my, on my long bike ride days. That's it. So it's been very simple. My starch has largely been, it's basically been uh, fruit and root, right? Fruit and root. I've had sweet potatoes twice, not a huge fan. Everybody knows that. And yeah, so this is what I've been doing, and I want to come back to adding rice into it. I want to make onigiri. I'm going to try that. I want to have that for a couple of days after I run out of the potatoes that I already have because I don't want them to go bad. And I'm going to try this. So that's why I haven't been adding rice into my rice diet. I do encourage people to experiment with this. See what your body likes and what your body does. And now I've heard of a lot of people having constipation when they eat rice. I can't really say that I've had that. I've had it maybe one or two times. I think that's a, a hydration issue. And also if you look at diets that are largely based on rice as the staple, there's always something in the diet that will help elimination, whether it's vegetables, whether it's fruit,